In other news, though, oh, Billy is safe. Oh, shut up. No matter oh. What he did it to the end of the Stop season. talking. Oh, realistically, why did I say that? What is happening, ladies and gentlemen, King here, and today, we have an emergency football roundup because if you've read the news, you would know Bitch has been sacked and Moyes is in. First of all, this is why Bilic got sacked. This is obviously, according to them on their Instagram page, West Ham United can confirm that today Slavon Bilic has left his position at the club. The chairman of West Ham United would like to place their thanks and gratitude towards Slavon Bilic and what he's put into the club over the last two and a half years, but believe it is now necessary in order for the club to move on so that they can move forward positively in line with their ambition. And you know what? Maybe they're right, but I think more than Slavin leaving, I think something should have happened with the board as well. And yes, of course, results are the most important thing, and results is what Silic wasn't giving the club in the slightest. The football wasn't the best, but it can't just all be put on him. Some has to go to the players, and some have to go to the board because they haven't been the best. They gave the money for better signings this season, yeah. But has that really helped the squad? No, not not really. I honestly don't think that they have a vision for the future. I think they just want us to remain in the Premier League and they don't really talk too much about what is the future. After the sacking, um, we obviously find out the day after that we now got Moisey. So I, of course, want to know what you think because uh, some fans haven't taken well to it at all and some fans think that it could be a good opportunity. Me, personally, he's a Premier League proven manager. He has experience, obviously, with him managing for 10 years at Everton, and that was very, very well documented, and he'd done really, really well, top four finish. Then he obviously went to Man United, which, obviously, we all know didn't go that well, but he did inherit an old shit Man United squad, and the only manager that was only ever going to get the best out of them players was Ferguson. He was kind of left with a like an empty kind of Man United team just with a lot of legacy. He was obviously never going to rise up to the figure and the man that Ferguson is. Maybe he did get treated a bit harshly because he probably done just as well as Van Gaal did, but he gets more more stick for it. Uh, then obviously he moved to Spain. A slight excuse because of maybe communication wasn't the best. But also, in fairness, that's something that he wanted to do himself. Yeah, it didn't plan out the way it probably should have, but it wasn't like he was going to manage a Real Madrid or like a Barcelona. He was managing like a mid-table team in the Spanish league. Even if he'd done well, I, I don't think there would have been many shouts about it. Obviously, the last time that we've seen him is at Sunderland, so we all know how that turned out. They obviously got relegated. Even Moyes says himself, that was a big mistake, and it takes a lot for a Premier League manager to turn around and hold his hands up like it wasn't the best choice and realistically I don't know many managers who come in Christmas and actually be able to keep the team up so listen yeah I'm not making excuses for him I just think he's our manager at West Ham now so we've all got to show him a bit of respect at least give him a chance because if you don't give him a chance and we're already on his back how is he ever going to feel welcome and how is he ever going to want to give West Ham what he can do if all he's getting is just shit? You can't judge him until that first ball is kicked. I hope he does well and I hope every other West Ham fan wants West Ham to be boosted up the table to where we should be because with the team we've got, he should be able to get the best out of them. Just to stabilise the defence, we've got the attacking players to score goals anyway. We're just letting in too many. We just need to find a structure, whether it's four at the back, three at the back, one at the back. Who fucking gives a shit? Let's just not concede like we have been conceding. Obviously, an asterisk is on the manager, but also the players need to impress. With Slavin, he was far too lenient on the players and probably never really went in on them like he should. He has impressed me with some of the stuff that he said in his press conference, like saying he's got a point to prove. Him having a, a big club and a great club like West Ham, showing what he can do with it. And... I'm not being funny, our team ain't that far different from Everton's. So there's no reason that he can't do the same job. And obviously that all the blame can't be put on Bilic. Yeah, Bilic slacked, but Bilic also gave us one of our best finishes for a long, long time. If he finished his seventh one season, a disrupted second season, and then obviously half of this season, like 
it can't all be him. It couldn't have all been him. I loved Bilic. I thought he was a great manager and a lovely guy. But at the end of the day, it's done now. Some of the onus has got to be on the players because they need to pull their finger out and prove that they are actually worthy of wearing that shirt and that they care and that they're going to give 100% every time they play a game. If they do that, I'm happy. Anyway, this has been your boy, King. Please like, comment and subscribe. King out. And as always, come on you irons.